Hey. You are first. <laughs> I should get you a surprise or something. Hey, y'all. Hey, Miss Connie. just putting my moisturizer on just to go ahead and start this um, what I use today is by Ulta Beauty is radiant skin daily moisturizer um, it does have vitamin C and algae in it I think I got it for like 10 bucks or something like that at Ulta it's very inexpensive Hello, hello, hello. Again, you always want to use some type of moisturizer on your skin, um, as well as a primer. The moisturizer, of course, is to, um, to help block out any type of, especially with SPF. You always want to get something with SPF in it. Um, because skin cancer is real. Um, and you just don't want those issues. And it, it brings about fine lines and wrinkles and a lot of different issues. So make sure you always, always, always use a moisturizer. Okay, for you all who just came in. The moisturizer that I use is by Ulta Beauty. Um, it is a Radiant Skin Daily Moisturizer. And it does have vitamin C and algae in it. And this is what it looks like. I think it was about 10 bucks. If I can remember right. About 10 bucks. So I put that on first. What I'm putting on second is my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation primer and it's by Smashbox. Photo finish is the Radiance kind. Um, I do like this one just because it gives you like a highlight, like a glow up under your, um, your foundation. So for people who may not be into like the whole highlighting thing on top of your makeup, this still gives you a glow without having to have that. Um, what your primer is for is literally to help your makeup, foundation, especially in hotter months, um, especially if you're oily, things of that nature, um, is to help your makeup stay on. Because without it, over a while, after you know, touching your face here and there, or wiping your nose or whatever, your makeup literally will come off. And you'll find yourself using a whole lot of product for no reason. Hey, trees. Hey, Jasmine. I got some different lighting in here. Can y'all tell? It don't look as orangey to me. I like this a lot better. Hey, Miss Atkins. I'm gonna make sure my brushes, I mean, my, uh, my brows are brushed in a uniform manner before I actually start to fill them in or clean them up. I am using today the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all know my favorite. It is the Dip Brow Pomade and it is in chocolate. Of course, you're gonna find, let me flip that up so y'all can see it. So you're gonna have to find the color that actually goes, girl, mine do too. My eyebrows grow back so <laughs> fast, um, but I hate going to get them done because I don't know. I hate threading and it hurts, but anyways, I still go. Um, but it's in the color chocolate. You will have to find the color that's better um, for your skin tone and for your hair color. Because, of course, everybody's um, eyebrows not may be as thick or um, may not be the same color. You know, blase, blase. So, you just have to find something that's 
It's better. Yeah, Trace, I like these a lot better. The other ones, I don't know. It wasn't doing it for me. And I wanted to make sure y'all could actually like see like you needed to see. So I got some new lights. So I am going to take my slanted brush. And again, the reason why I use a slanted brush, it makes it a little bit more accurate. So when you're going um, against your brow, um, your brow line or your brow bone, um, it makes it a little bit more accurate. So, oh. <laughs> so you're going to do small strokes, like I've said before, very small strokes. When your eyebrows are a little bit thicker, you really don't have to do a lot. If anything, what you're doing is basically, try to make sure you all see that. Um, what you're doing is basically filling in any may, maybe little sparse areas that you got or just perfecting them, making them a little bit more clean. Very small strokes. What you don't want to do is just dip it in there and like go straight across your eyebrow or take a pencil and go straight across. That's not, that's not what you want to do. So actually what I'm going to do today, I am going to use, I just thought about something. I'm going to use the pomade for this side, but I also want y'all to be able to know how to do it like with a uh, brow powder or a eyeshadow color. Well, hello, Jeremy. <laughs> so I am going to use um, the Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna use it for the other one. Um, it's called, the color is called Cypress Amber, which is a really good color. Of course, again, you're gonna get a color that's gonna be conducive to what you need, you know, for your face and for your eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm just gonna dip this in here, shake off the excess, and you're gonna do the same thing to the opposite brow like you were doing, um, excuse me, the same thing to the, the this brow that you were doing with the opposite brow. Dip that color in there, I mean, dip that brush in there and literally, hey, Uncle Yuri! Oh, <laughs> to fill that in. Fill it in. So it really doesn't matter like what you all are using to fill your eyebrows in or to do your eyebrows with. Whatever works for you. Some people like eyeshadow. Um, some people use brow powder. Some people use pomade. Some people use pencil. It is totally and completely up to you what you want to use. Okay, so for mine, those are done. So what you're gonna use, again, take the same brush or whatever brush that you have that you comb through your eyebrows with the first time, take that brush and literally go back through your brows because you don't want them to look harsh. Of course, you want them to look uniform and pretty and in order, but you don't want it to look like you drew them on. So just go through those. And just clean them up. So next, I am going to take a little bit of concealer, put that on the back of my hand. Um, the concealer that I am using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You can find this at any type of beauty supply store. Um, I think you can even order it online. Um, and it's in the color Toffee, or Toffee, however you wanna say it. Um, and I think it's like $4.99, $3.99 or $4.99. You get this from the beauty supply store. Um, very inexpensive. They have a whole lot of shade, different color shade ranges. Um, of course, again, depends on, hey, Miss Smith, um, what color you want the under, um, beneath your brow to look like. Some people like it to be the same flesh skin tone. Some people like for it to be a little bit lighter. It is totally and completely up to you. Um, I am taking this flat brush and applying, basically dipping my brush into some of the color that I have on my hand as far as the concealer, and I'm going to line the bottom and the top of my brow with this. 
and make sure that after you place the concealer, what you're gonna do next is make sure you blend that out. Everything is literally a blending game. I mean, literally just gonna go underneath your brow. What this does is make your brows look a lot cleaner. Whole, whole, whole lot cleaner. It just shapes them up, helps you shape them up. If y'all have any questions, make sure you comment, inbox me. Any looks y'all would like for me to do, y'all can go ahead and comment those too as well. I just figured today I would do something more like a fall based look because it is August. Uh, we literally only have a couple more days, a few more days before September hits. Hi, hey, Auntie. Um, so I just figured something fall, um, something that's going to help you because, of course, you know, when the, the seasons change, your looks are going to change up a little bit. I'm going to take that same brush and that same color, and I'm going to go underneath this brow. Um, you just help cleaning it up a little bit. Of course, you can totally eliminate this step if you want to. I just like to do it because it makes my eyebrows look like together. And, um and uniform. It is totally up to you. You do not have to do this. It's totally, totally up to you. Hey, my sister. And you're going to go on the top of your brow and basically do the same thing. Blend it out. I'm going to blend it out a little bit more in just a second. And when you're doing your eyebrows, and especially if you're cleaning them up with concealer, uh, please make sure that you blend out uh, your concealer really well. Because what's not cute is when uh, I see pictures of people. And like they're taking a picture and there's a flash or whatever. And you can literally see the line above and up under. That's definitely not what you want it to look like. So just make sure you blend it out. A little blending ain't never hurt nobody. Now though, I'm going to put eyeshadow, of course, on my lid. I still like to blend it out. Just to make sure everything is together. Alrighty. Um, and also with the pomade, if that's what you all are using, or you're deciding to go and use it, I mean, to buy it, make sure you screw the top on it really tight because if not, this stuff will dry out really quick. Um, it lasts for a long time, but just again, like I said, remember to screw it, screw the top back on it really well. Um, I'm going to be using the P. Louise, um, base again for my eyeshadow. It is in the color Rumor 02. This is from um someplace and but it's also oh it's um it's from somewhere in london so if this is what you want i found this to be a really really good eyeshadow primer if this is what you want of course you would have to order online but another good eyeshadow base is from smashbox I'm trying to see if i have any more left but it's the 24 hour shadow primer 24 hour shadow primer it's really good it's in a gray Container has black writing on it and it's a black lid on it. That's really, really, really good. You can find that at like, I know you can find that at Ulta. I'm not sure about Sephora, but I, I for sure know you can find it at Ulta. So I am going to use a brush or you can use your fingertips. It's totally up to you. And I want to spread that evenly across my lid. Of course, you're going to do it on this side and you're going to do it on the opposite side as well. And anywhere where you're going to put eyeshadow is where you are going to put your eyeshadow base. The reason why I like this one is just because it, um, 
It makes your colors pop and it's very bright. I mean, you can get them in different colors. Some of them are like, like really, really white. So if you're doing something that's really bright and colorful, that will help as well. But if you all saw that colorful look that I did, I posted a picture of, I just used this one and I mean, it was just as fine. But I'm sure with that white one, it probably would have been like crazy colors. But they also, um, they have eyeshadow palettes and everything. But it's pretty good and pretty inexpensive. It was like $9.99. Hey, Kuita. So, since we are going to be doing a fall look, of course, it's going to be a little bit neutral, but I'm going to give you a pop of color. So, what we're going to start off with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Um, and that is just to build up the color in my crease. I am going to show you. So we're going to start off with the burnt orange color. So this color here. Um, this palette, again, you can find this at any Ulta, Sephora, Anastasia Beverly Hills actual website. It is totally and completely up to you. I think these palettes are like 42 or 44. You don't have to use a lot of it. So it does last you a long time. But as you see, I... Oh, excuse me. And I'm also using a fluffy brush. And that is just so that I can get into my crease uh, really well. Because if you're using something like a flat brush like this, of course, you know, you're not going to be able to get that color anywhere. Um, that's more so like placing the color on your lid and not in your crease. But I dabbed my brush into the burnt, burnt orange, knocked the excess color off. And basically, you're just going to go right there in your crease, place that color. Windshield wiper motions there into your crease. Put that brush in there again, knock off the excess, and I'm going into the crease of the other eye. And again, just windshield wiper motions there. Next, you're, I'm going to go into the rustic color here. This one, sorry. This color here, and I'm just gonna build up this color here in the middle. Dip it into your brush. I'm, still, I'm gonna use that same brush. This is more so a neutral brown color. It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna place that into my crease as well. And I'm sure you all can see now it's starting to put a little bit more color there. You always want to build up your eyeshadow. Um, that's how you really get the multi-dimensional uh, multi look without it just looking like you just plastered one color on and walked out the door. It makes a smooth transition. And again, you see me using windshield wiper motions, but I'm also blending it out at the same time. Uh-oh. Hey, y'all. About to say hey and br threw my brush on the floor. Now I'm gonna go through this eye again with the same color rustic. They're in my crease. And again, use windshield wiper motions. Hey girl. And place that color, but also blend it out at the same time. Again, if y'all have any questions um, or a comment, y'all can go. Y'all can talk to me through here. I can see you all while you're talking or typing, rather. I just want to make sure that color is deposited through there really well. gonna put one more color and then we're done with our crease so I'm gonna put that one down since that was a neutral color and I am going to go pick up another spoolie brush and I am going to use let's see I'll use this color yes yeah, so, so the next color will be cypress amber which is the darker um, chocolate color I'm gonna use another brush Knock off the excess, and I'm going to go into the crease again. I don't know if you all can tell because I know this brush is a little bit shorter. I always use my brush or hold my brush there at the end. When you start to hold your brush right here, it makes it really harsh. Um, so 
literally just try to try to put it there it gives you a little bit more control of the brush because when you're holding it there towards the end that is just not what you want to do because it makes your colors look harsh girl i don't know but who who cares i think you're fabulous i'm gonna go through that same color with cypress amber amber excuse me into my crease hey gabby the same color in my crease and i'm going to blend that out and in a few, I'm going to take the same brush that I was using earlier with the neutral colors and I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. Where I place the actual Cypress Amber that's a little bit dark, I'm just going to go across the top, I guess, of the crease and just make sure those colors are blended out because you just don't want it to look too harsh. You're welcome, girl. So next, I'm going to use a flat brush because the color that I'm actually going to place on my lid um, is going to be like a maroon red color. It's not going to be too bright. Something that's darker. Um, good for the fall. And it's actually in this same, same um, soft glam palette, and it's called Mulberry. I don't know if you really can tell that color there really good, but you'll be able to see it on my face. So I'm using a flat brush to pick up the color. And I'm literally just dabbing that brush in there, knocking off the excess, and I'm gonna place that right there. And you can build up your color so it's not necessary for you to pick it up all at one time. the color here and of course once we get done with this we are going to actually uh, blend this color out as well hi Corey I'm gonna put that same color here on the other side and of course this color you can hey Joel, Joel. Uh, you can use this literally any color that I'm putting here on my lid like the main color um, you can use any color for your smoky eye. And I'm just placing this color again. Just trying to make sure I built up that color. Now, if you want to do a shimmer or something like that on top of this, that is totally up to you. You can do something like that. That would be cute as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. <laughs> Trees, you know my favorite. Cardio is blending. That's about it. <laughs> so now that I have that color placed there, I am going to take that same brush that I was using earlier that I had the neutral colors. I'm just literally going to go across right into my crease and blend out that color blend it out blend it out thank you y'all was so bored like sitting at the house and i was just like hmm what can i do and i just start playing the makeup as usual what happens so hold on pick up a mirror just to make sure everything is blended like i want it Okay, that's blended out a little bit. I actually want to place a little bit more color. Hold on. Just a little bit. A little bit more there. And 
I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more. Alrighty. So my next step, of course, I'm going to, you know, my favorites are lashes. If I don't wear anything else, I always have my lashes on. Um, lashes are so not, you don't have to use them. I always use them. It is totally up to you. And um, the lashes that I use um, have become my favorite. Like, they're my actual favorite lashes. Um, I have a lot of different types as well, different sizes, depending on what I'm going for. I have a lot of extra lashes, so if I'm doing something extra or um, I just feel like being extra, I will use those. So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and place the glue on those. Again, basically what I do is I just get a little bit, I squeeze a little bit up and I place the glue there on the lash. You want to be very careful when you're doing this. Because if you squeeze out too much too soon and you're right there at your lash, you will literally ruin your lashes. And anything you pay pay a lot of money for or you just your money period for, you don't want to mess them up. So there was a lot of trial and error. I had to learn that. So I'm going to place those over to the side only because you need those to get a little bit tacky um, before you actually place those onto your eyes. But I am going to go ahead and use my mascara. And it's, it's by Tarte. It's called Man Eater um, Mascara. And it's pretty, pretty good. Um, it makes your lashes stand out without it being, you know, like clumpy. I know you're probably wondering, well, why are you putting on mascara? If you're wearing lashes, you always want to put mascara on. Because it helps basically to bend, blend. blend your lash with the actual faux lashes. Because if you don't, some people have like really straight lashes. Some people have really curly lashes, like my line sister. <laughs> so um, you really need something that's going to help you blend the lash together. That is the only reason why you put mascara on. Next, I am going to grab, now this is up to you as well. Um, I use a liquid foundation. Um, sometimes I use just a powder foundation. It is up to you as to what you're going to use. Oh, well, I need me some more. Looks like I need some more. But what I am using, I'm about to show it to you in just a minute, is by Milani. Um, you can buy this from Walmart, which is where I got it from. I think you may be able to get it from Beauty Supply Store. I'm not sure. But it's called um, Milani Conceal and Perfect. It's a two-on-one foundation. Um, of course, you can look and see what color that you actually need. It's medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula. Um, oh, it's water-resistant and sweat-proof. didn't know that. I was using the forever, and I didn't know that. So this next step, you can either use a brush. Sometimes I use a brush. Sometimes I actually use a um, blender. It is just totally up to you. Sometimes I use a brush just to place it and then I'll go back with my um, beauty blender down and I basically dab the color through just to make sure there's no streaks. Cause whenever you use a brush, you run the risk of it streaking on you. And it's totally not what you want it to look like. You want it to be a smooth application. When you're using foundation, regardless if it's powder or liquid, you always want to bring it down your neck. Hey, mama. You want to bring it down to your neck. You don't have to coat your neck. You don't have to bring it down far. But just make sure you bring it down just so it won't look like, you know, there's a line between a color difference. Between, between what color is on your face and your neck color. I hate to see women with two different color foundations on. I just hate it. Or not two color, but like you you can literally see their face and then you see their neck is two different colors. So just bring it down just a little bit. And you're going to spread that evenly. And I do like this foundation because it's really, like it really is a good foundation. Of course, there is um, 
more expensive just because it's more expensive doesn't always mean that it's better now of course there are some high-end foundations that i really do like i really like max i really like um bare minerals i really like um nars i like all of those foundations but it's just not necessary that you have to spend 40 50 60 dollars on foundation it's not necessary if that's what you want to do that's fine but there's always great alternatives and i'm going to take my beauty blender spray that down a little bit and i'm just going to dab a little bit of color and i just want to make sure that everything that i just did is smoothed out And Beauty Blenders, you totally, of course, there's a brand called The Beauty Blender. Um, those will, <laughs> will run you about $20. You do not have to buy those. Um, you can buy Beauty Blenders from everywhere. Just make sure it, that it's soft. When you have a hard Beauty Blender, it is very hard to manipulate. It is very hard to place your foundation like what you need it to look like. Very, very hard to do that. Make sure it's soft. Like this one's like really, really soft. And use that and just make sure you press in that foundation. Press it in, press it in. So, now, actually, hold on. I don't know where do I always lose a lash when I'm on live. How? When the other one's going to pop, there it is. It's going to pop up. I knew it was going to pop up. <laughs> so, hold on one second. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit more glue on these. I totally forgot they were sitting right there. Put a little bit more glue on those so those can get tacky. I totally forgot they were sitting there. I could have been put those lashes on. Put a little bit more glue. And the glue that I'm using is by Kiss. Um, you can use any type of lash glue. It depends on what you want. Some of it dries clear. Some of it dries white. I prefer the one that dries clear. It is totally up to you as to which one you actually want to use. Thank you. Yes, Trace, I can tell you. Um... I use a whole lot of stuff on my skin for our skincare. Um, anything with hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, because your skin changes so much as you get older. Um, so what hyaluronic acid is, basically it helps fill in um, any fine lines, any wrinkles, anything like that that you have in your face. But first you want to make sure you find out if you are combination or oily. And then you can go about your journey that way. Uh, but I do like It Cosmetics. It, Com it Cosmetics is a little bit pricey. Well, it's probably like $15, $20 for a face wash. But of course, you need a moisturizer. Um, you also need an under eye moisturizer. Because that area starts to get thinner and thinner as you get older. Um, so you also want to put that on, especially at night. Um, but I will, I either text it to it or I put it down here in the description too. So I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of color um from my loose powder and i'm going to put that on top of my foundation and that's just to set it but trees if you um if you don't know if you're oily or dry um you can go to any beauty counter and they should know like you just tell them what your skin looks like if you get you tend to get oily like i just get usually oily like in this area throughout the day um, that's just a T-zone T -zone oily um, area, but basically, a lot of the times when you're oily, people think that, oh, I can't use moisturizer, or oh, I can't. You actually do need to use um, moisturizer. Everybody needs to use some moisturizer, um, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So, what I'm doing now, I use that same LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee, or Toffee and I'm putting that underneath my eye. As you see, I want it like a triangular motion. You don't want to put too much concealer or anything else up under your eyes. Because, again, that area is uh, mainly basically one of the first things that people see. And you don't want to overly saturate that because it'll continue. It'll cause it like to crease, which is what you don't want to do. 
So I'm using this, that same wet beauty blender and I'm making sure this color is basically like pressed into my skin and this is to conceal any um, dark circles. This is to conceal any issues that you have. That is what the point of concealer is. Like any dark areas, any spots um, from pimples or from whatever. Um, we have freckles, things of that nature. That's what that's for. And you just want to make sure you press that out. And make sure that it is evenly distributed. Up under your eyes. This next step is completely and solely completely optional. I crease underneath my eyes. Everybody doesn't crease underneath their eyes. I always use some type of setting powder up under it. Um, what I've been using lately, which has been working for me, is um, by NYX. It is just called HD Studio Finishing Powder. That's it. Um, so I just dab my brush into that and I am going to pat that underneath my eyes. The whole baking thing is totally optional. You do not have to bake. I usually put mine on evenly and any anything extra, I just brush it off. You can bake if you need to. I just, I don't do all that. This is, this is way too much. Cause a lot of people, I see people on YouTube, like they bake and they'll be baking for like 15, 20, 30 minutes. Like, mm -mm. I never get that time, especially when you're on the way to work or you're rushing or what. Uh-uh. I don't have time for that. But I have that sitting for now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my lash. I use either my fingers or I use an actual tweezer. It's up to you. If you are going to use a tweezer, hold your lash at the end. Um, and basically what I do is I just take, uh, take that and I place that as close to my lash line as possible. And sometimes I use a combination of both. I use my fingers and I use the tweezers. And that's just because I want to make sure that it is on my eye and it's not going to fly off. Because the last thing you need is a flying lash. Okay, and I'm going to with the other one. I'm just going to pick that up by my hand. And I'm going to place that right on top again. On that lash line. And of course, you're going to place that as close to your lash line as possible. Make sure that center is there. It's nine times out of ten. If you got your centers and your corners attached you won't have any issues yes i'm i'm sure it looked easy for me but i've been wearing lashes for a while and also with your lashes of course you don't have to get his lashes as big as mine um when you have smaller eyes you need a lash that's going to be a little bit smaller something that's going to accentuate your eyes my eyes are just a little bit bigger so i use a bigger lash um, what I'm going to go to, into next is my contour and is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. Um, the color that I'm using is right here in the middle. I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's Carob or Carob. C-A-R-O-B is the color that I use. But there are six colors on here. And these little tabs too, these come out and you can make your own little um, contour palette. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to wet it down just a little bit. With these contour cream kits, sometimes they're a little bit hard to manipulate and get the color out. Um, so, I'm going to dip that brush in there. And I'm just going to go against the hollows of my face. Hold on. I'm going to put a little bit more. I got to put a little bit more. Too much on the brush. So, what you're going to do is blend that out. Blend it out. And if you see you put too much on there, I'm going to show you in a minute. Because I did put a little bit too much on there. I'm going to show you how to clean it up. That's the hollow. Some people use it across their forehead. So if you place too much like I just did, you can either use the same foundation brush or you can use a beauty blender. It's totally up to you. 
But just use your foundation and just blend it out. Wherever you place too much of it at, and just use it and blend it out. Don't freak out. Makeup is fun. You're going to make mistakes. I've been doing makeup for a while, and I still make mistakes. So just use that, any type of foundation brush or anything that may have concealer on it, and, bl and blend it out. Literally, and that's it. So... Next, I am going to put a little uh, contour powder on it. This is by um, the Crayon Case. It's the Watch, Watch Me Blush Palette. I think this was like $12 or $15. It's pretty good. And it has a lot of different colors in it. Um, some of them you can use for contour. Some are highlight, of course. Um, some of them are blushes. So it's totally up to you how you want to use it. I'm going to go into the hot cocoa. And I'm just going to place a little bit on top of the area where I contoured it and blend it out blend it out blend it blend it and again as you all can see I'm using the end of my brush So that is the end of that one. So this next one is up to you. Sometimes I do place the color underneath my eyes. Sometimes I do not. And I just put a mascara there. Um, just for fun today, I will use a little bit of that same color. And I will place it up under my eye. Um, from the Soft Glam Palette. It is the Mulberry color again. I'm going to, you know, at the top of this brush is what I was using for the crease. But at the bottom, um, this brush actually comes with the palettes. It's okay. I like the fluffier end better. But this flat end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this color into the mulberry color. Tap off the excess and I'm going to go right up under my eye. To place the color. Again, like if you wanted to use an actual eyeliner to do this, like if you had this color in uh, your eyeliner, you can do that. And it's up to you. I prefer to use eyeshadow. I have horrible allergies and sinuses. So sometimes this is not even a good move for me. But it's just a tutorial and it's okay right now. I haven't had any issues with them today. So again, place that color underneath there. This is, you do not have to do this. I like to do it just to smoke it out a little bit. And that color, whatever you put under there, just make sure, again, you blend that out. You all don't look like a raccoon. Okay, so I just placed that, if you can all tell, I can just place that color up under here and just smoke it out. I'm going to go back with that same Tarte Man Eater uh, mascara, and I'm going to place that on my lashes here at the bottom. I use that just to make sure my lashes at the bottom are popping. And one more coat. Now, some people use blushes, some people don't. It is up to you. Um, I'm going to go back with that Watch Me Blush kit, and I'm going to use the tangerine color, which is something I really. I've really started to like using um, this color really looks good um, on like the darker complexions it looks it looks really good um, I dip my brush in there and I'm just gonna put a little there and where you actually place your um, your blush is on the apples of your cheeks so if you smile the little balls here <laughs> I will miss Smith I will I got you I promise I got you uh, where you smile the little balls of your cheeks is where your actual Jeez, I'm throwing it today. Um, it's where you actually put your blush. Hey, Cookie. Y'all, Cookie is bothering me. Hey. So, I, I'm actually using the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And it's for oil control because I have gotten oilier. Um, as I've gotten older for some reason, but this is a setting spray that I use to actually set on my face. 
And I'm just gonna spray that. And that's just to help set what you already done. Of course, it's gonna look wet at first, but in a second, it'll dry. I promise it'll dry. So you can use, usually in the fall months, I don't use a highlighter. It's nothing against using a highlighter. You totally can use one. It's up to you. Um, but for sakes today, I will go ahead and use a highlighter. What I'm going to use today is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you all can tell, this is like my favorite brand. Um, and it is the Amrezy highlighter. It's really, really, really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. And I'm just using a brush like this. It has like a little pointy dome on it to help place it. This bright, this highlighter is really, really bright. So it literally only takes a little bit. So do not like literally lightly touch your brush in there because you don't you don't need a lot. And as you see that like that little bitty stroke that I just did, you see how bright it is. Like it is no joke. And you're just gonna do your other side. I usually place highlighter on my cupid's bow as well, which is just the top area right here of your lip. Um, you do not have to do that. It is totally up to you. Put that there. So next, um, really just depends on if you like lipstick, uh, lip gloss, it's totally up to you. Today, um, just for the sake of tutorial, I am going to be using ColourPop and the color Notion. It is a maroon color as well. Um, I usually, I can use, sometimes, especially with the liquid lipsticks, I use it as my liner. It is totally up to you um, as to what you want to do. If you have an actual lip liner to, that matches your color, that's up to you. Um, but this, as far as when I say liquid lipstick, it looks like a lip gloss when you put it on but it dries it mattifies so just to show y'all what the color looks like once i put it on like that's literally the color so it'll ma basically match my eyeshadows to what i'm putting on today so i'm going to take that stick and i'm going to line the, the area of my lips first and then i'll fill it in My neighbors always gotta be super loud when I'm doing my uh, tutorial. Dab your lips together a little bit. And again, you could have used a lip gloss a lipstick, something neutral. It's up to you. I just want to do a little bit bold look that's going to go with the bold eye. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to put a different color on the inside and basically do like an ombre look, you can do that. It is totally up to you. But you all tell me what you think. This is the completed look. I know these, these lights are a little bit different today, but this is your completed look. If you have any questions, um, about anything, any products that I use today, inbox me, um, comment here, share my video, and until next time, i see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.